hello friends welcome back again to engineering tutorial today we are going to start an important topic related to electrical circuit theory or network theory that is network theorems so there are many kinds of uh, theorems which we are going to study and we are going to uh, take them uh, one by one. We're not going to study uh, all of them at one go or in a single video. We're going to we're going step by step. First, uh, we are going to discuss the Thevenin's theorem. So let's uh, first uh, go into the statement of Thevenin's theorem. It states that a linear, active, two-terminal, bilateral DC network which contains one or more independent or dependent voltage or current sources can be replaced by a single voltage source VOC V subscript OC in series with an equivalent impedance Z equivalent. So let's break it down. <coughs> First term linear. So what is a linear? Subst uh, linear element it is one which obeys ohm's law and obeys the principle of superposition and homogeneity active active means it's self generating two terminal it has obviously it has two terminals and bilateral bilateral means it allows the flow of current in both direction and not in a single direction it allows the flow of current in both direction it's bidirectional so these are the terms that are involved so the next thing which is uh, said that it contains one or multiple independent or dependent voltage or current source so in short it says that any circuit network which satisfies these requirements can be transformed into an equivalent circuit with the help of or by substituting it with a voltage source VOC or Thevenin voltage it is called V subscript OC or V subscript TH and which is in series with an equivalent impedance which is Z equivalent or Z, Z Thevenin. Any circuit network can be converted into this form and the Thevenin circuit is determined in a circuit network across two points. You can determine it across any two points in a circuit network. The, it, it is entirely dependent uh, on you. As you desire, as you wish, you can determine the Thevenin equivalent circuit across any two points. But across that two points, the equivalent circuit will be like this. An open circuit voltage or Thevenin voltage, which is in series with equivalent impedance. So, <clears throat> let's just solve a problem to understand it in a better way. So, this is a circuit network which consists of two resistances and two voltage source. These are independent voltage source, okay, independent DZ voltage source. They are not dependent on any other external variable parameter. So the resistance values are 5 ohm and 5 ohm and the voltages are 20 volt and 10 volt. So what is asked here is we have to find out the Thevenin equivalent circuit across the terminals A and B. As I said, we have to determine the Thevenin equivalent circuit across any two points in a circuit. So let's uh, <clears throat> do it. So first, you see that this is a closed loop. Okay, it is a closed path. So assign a loop current I. It is unknown. Assign it. As it is open circuited, no current flows through this uh, through this path, so it is zero ampere. Then, considering this mesh, write the KVL equation. 
okay so it will be like this 20 minus 5 i as current flows from positive polarity to negative polarity of an impedance we discussed it earlier so it will be negative voltage drop 20 minus 5 i again minus 10 volt as we are moving from positive terminal to negative terminal of the voltage source again it will be negative again minus 5 i to 20 minus 5 i minus 10 minus 5 i equals to 0 that is the KVL equation 20 minus 5 i minus 10 minus 5 i equals to 0 okay this is the KVL equation <coughs> so this is the KVL equation again 20 minus 5 i minus 10 minus 5 i equals to 0 so when we solve for that unknown current it becomes i equals to 1 ampere so 10 minus 10 i equals to 0 20 minus 10 10 5 5 10 10 minus 10 i equals to 0 10 i equals to 10 i equals to 1 ampere we solved it so i equals to 1 ampere the mesh current the next thing which we have to determine is the thevenin voltage or the open subscript voltage v o c across a and b so how you are going to determine it see the current i it is flowing through this resistance forget this just uh, delete it okay don't consider this the current i equals to 1 ampere is flowing through this resistance what will be the open circuit voltage across ab we have to move from b to a and put the value of current in 5 so how it, it's gonna be it's gonna be like this we as we move from b to a this is negative to positive we are moving so it's 10 volt consider it 10 volt again we are moving from negative to positive polarity of the resistance so we are going to consider it as positive so 10 plus 5 i again we have to move from b to a forget this part don't consider it as we move from b to a we are moving negative to positive polarity of the voltage source 10 so we are going to consider or take it as positive again we are moving from negative to positive polarity of the impedance current i equals to 1 ampere is flowing through this resistance so we are going to consider it as plus 5i 10 plus 5i substitute the value of i equals to 1 ampere it becomes vab equals to 15 volt okay as we move from b to a 10 plus 5i 10 plus 5 into 1 equals to 15 volt that is the open circuit voltage which is the thevenin voltage don't worry about this part we are only concerned with determining the voltage across these two terminals and always move from b to a okay and consider the polarity whatever it was there whatever you assumed while determining the mesh current okay you move from negative to positive 10 volt if it would have been plus plus minus then we would have considered it negative if it would have been plus minus we would have considered it negative but as we move here from b to a we are moving from negative to positive so 10 volt again we are moving from negative to positive polarity of the resistance so again positive 10 plus 5 5 so we get the thevenin voltage as 15 volt the next step is to determine the thevenin impedance or thevenin resistance in this case <coughs> so how we are going to determine it just deactivate the independent sources now if there would have been a current source like this you would have short circuited eh, sorry open circuited okay if there would have been an open uh, current source here there is a voltage source here and here 20 volt and 10 volt 
in case of a voltage source you just short circuit it this is short circuit remember while determining the equivalent impedance or thevenin impedance across the two points always deactivate the independent sources do not touch the dependent sources we are not considering dependent sources in this example but deactivate the independent sources whether it is voltage or current how to deactivate the ind the independent voltage or current sources open circuit the current sources short circuit the voltage sources here there was two voltage source we short circuited it see short circuit if there would have been a current source here we would have open circuited it okay then find the equivalent resistance across these two points obviously these two are connected in parallel so the equivalent resistance will be 5 parallel 5 is equal to 5 into 5 by 5 plus 5 which is equal to 2.5 ohm so the z thevenin will be 2.5 ohm so how the thevenin equivalent circuit will look like like this plus minus 2.5 5 ohm it is 15 volt a and p this is the thevenin equivalent circuit this is vth this is rth this is the thevenin equivalent uh, circuit the thevenin voltage or open circuit voltage in series with the thevenin resistance another thing i am going to say i am going to repeat it again while considering or while determining the thevenin impedance always deactivate the independent sources only do not touch the dependent sources and while deactivating the independent sources open circuit the current sources short circuit the voltage sources then only determine the equivalent impedance okay so this is the thevenin's theorem which i have uh, discussed with you this is a simple problem uh to make you understand about uh, the basic uh, concept of thevenin circuit analysis so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical and electronics engineering have a great day